So the term microenvironment's um, been around for ages in cancer research, but it's only really been recently that we've been able to interrogate images appropriately to actually get the meaning of the term microenvironment out. Um, there's a lot of work we've done in our lab looking at pathological assessment of the tumor microenvironment, so uh, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, tumor stoma ratio, um, using very simple qualitative measures such as like less or greater than 50% of the region being assessed. But by using the image analysis, we're actually able to add continuous values, which actually provides a greater level of detail to the to the, the, the data being generated, and it means we actually combine this data with other data sets such as DNA sequencing, RNA sequencing, microarray, to actually do pathway analysis or gene set enrichment, which we previously weren't able to do. And um, with the advent of multiplex, we can actually look at spatial relationships, um, especially now that um, open source software is actually capable of handling these complex algorithms. So digital image analysis has been around for a while. Um, but previously it was done on uh, small images using um, software like ImageJ. But these could not handle whole slide images, which is really what we need for pathology. Um, so if you think of pathologists, they work with glass slides. They work at times 40 magnification, times 100 magnification. A small tile, pixel tile, can't cope with that level of data. Uh, lots of the software, uh, Definians, Halo, they all work with whole slide images. Um, I personally use open source software, QPath which allows me to import my image in, do my annotations, run my cell detection, similar to these commercial platforms, and create very, very robust results that can be independently QC'd, and uh, allows my work to be, uh, to be more um, transparent, as you can see exactly what it is you're detecting. So it makes a big difference. So one of the big thing, trends I'm seeing is that um, image analysis is becoming more accessible, like image mean, chemistry became a few years ago, um, which is great for everybody. But one of the things we are noticing is that with image analysis, you need to understand the images you're working with. I, I could give you an HD image, you could have a go with QPath, you could get data out, you might not know what it means, but you can generate data. And that's more of the issue we're probably going to see in the next few years, is people generating data that uh, they just need to understand how they're interrogating the images to create appropriate data, which is useful for pathologists in the long term. So the clinical implications of digital image analysis um, is quite exciting. So we're still um, in the UK using microscope, microscope assessment in the labs for pathology assessment. Um, Northern Ireland is actually going to become one of the first whole digital um, NHS um, laboratories. So we're all the, all digital, all Microscope assessment will be actually carried out on digital slides as well as routine assessment in a microscope. Um, this will actually lead the way for running image, anal an image analysis algorithms in these images as they will be already digitised. Um, using um, the software that's available, we'll be able to then interrogate Key67, for example, more accurately, um, actually do tumor stool ratio. Rather than pathologists going, ah, oh, I think this is this, they'll actually be able to get a value, which then they can use to inform patient prognosis, hopefully that's somewhere down the line.